I'm Mike Mills, I'm the founder of Grove Streams, and this is my partner, Michael Safi. You know, data from the Internet of Things is overwhelming traditional software systems, and building your own IoT application can be expensive, and it can take months or sometimes years. Today, we're going to show you how to build your own Internet of Things application using the Grove Streams platform. Let's get started. And I see we got our resolution back, so we'll stretch it out. First thing you got to do is go to our homepage, GroveStreams.com, and sign up for a free user account. We already did that to save a little bit of time, so we're just going to log in to an empty account. Hmm. You will be prompted to create an organization. An organization is just the way we organize data in Grove Streams. Just select yes. Lost the video. Hold on a second. Jiggle your dog. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to call our organization Mini Demo. And we're going to create that organization with a blueprint that creates some artifacts to help us along, such as units. All we got to do is click on our organization name to enter our organization. And I'm going to change a couple configuration settings right away to speed things up. I'm going to speed up our dashboards. And I'm going to speed up our notifications. I better not wiggle this podium. Could it be? We keep moving video. Are you changing applications or what? No, I'm just. Mouse. <laughs> this is interesting. We've created our Internet of Things application to Grove Streams, but we're missing something. We're missing a thing. We need a thing to interact with this application. And the thing we've chosen is an Arduino Yoon. I have a picture of a Yoon here. We actually have one hooked up here. It's communicating through Wi-Fi to the cloud, and we've attached a temperature probe to it. And we're going to feed those temperatures up into Grove Streams. Maybe I'll try not to resize this window. First thing we need is some code for the Yoon. We're going to program that Yoon. We have a lot of sample code on our website for a lot of different devices, including the Yoon. I have the Arduino IDE open here. I'm going to paste that sketch into it. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of some junk that came over with the paste. I'm going to speed up the sample times so that we upload temperature about every 10 seconds. And then we need the last thing we need to do is insert our secret API key, which we can get if we go back to our organization that we just created. And I'm going to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to go back to the Arduino IDE, and I'm going to paste it into that code. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that code into the into the Yoon. <laughs> you don't think it actually copied? It did copy it. We'll give it one more try, otherwise we'll fall back to our backup plan. Okay. Boy, it just does not want to cooperate. We'll go grab our API key again. Yeah. 
a little bit about that API key. That API key is used every time data is uploaded from that unit, and it tells Growth Streams what organization to put that data into, and it makes sure Growth Streams will make sure that that API key has the right amount of rights for that unit. All right, we got it to upload. We're going to run that Arduino UN. We're going to jump back to our Growth Streams organization. And we just received a notification to say we've registered that component inside of our cloud application. If we come over here, we'll see it registered here. We've got two temperature streams being uploaded. We've got a Fahrenheit and a Celsius. I double click the Fahrenheit stream. We can bring up our stream viewer. We could see we got two samples in. We could edit them if we want to, and we can in investigate them. But what we, what we want to do is demonstrate creating a dashboard inside of Growth Streams. So we're going to create a dashboard. We're going to call it temperature. We're going to drop a couple widgets on it. We're going to drop a line graph widget. And we're going to drop a couple of gauges on there. Now we've got the widgets on there. We need to associate them with data streams coming in from our, our Internet of Things. We're just going to drag those data streams onto our widgets. And as you can see, it's about 79 degrees in here. And the last thing we want to demonstrate is setting up an event on one of these streams. We just right click on it, we say add event, and we're going to add a value event. We're going to call it, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and we want that event to start when the value is greater than, let's see what we're currently at here, 79, let's say. Let's say 80, we'll say 84. And we need, to, we need to pick an action package. And an action package will tell Growth Streams what to do when the event starts or when it stops. Uh, I'm going to select a couple of action packages here that have actions in them to send an email and to send a Growth Streams notification. We support other actions, but those are the ones we're demonstrating today. Okay. Mike? So here's my part of the demonstration. Watch my two fingers. Mike's going to grab that temperature probe. <laughs> there you go. Keep going, Mike. All right. There it is. There's our start notification. He prepared all week for that. <laughs> now, when the, event, when the event drops back down, we'll get an event, a stop notification. It'll be popping up here. I'm going <laughs> to... Right. There you go. You're, you set off the alarm. Even. Just to prove that we got emails, I'm in the user's Gmail account. Make sure there's no smoke and mirrors here. We got two emails that came in. So, in conclusion, what we demonstrated today is really just a fraction of our capabilities. Uh, we do a lot more around uh, stream analytics. Uh, we run on big data. We scale. We scale a lot. Uh, our dashboards are very customizable, like the one you see here. And a feature we just added yesterday was uh, commands from, from dashboards. Uh, so we can now control devices from our dashboards. Check us out at growthstreams.com to learn more. And thank you for letting us demonstrate how to create your own Internet of Things application here at Mini Demo. <laughs>